guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to come on here and discuss the samples that I pulled last week and then we're going to pull some new samples. So let's talk about the samples from last week first. So the first sample I have here is the Sally Hershberger 24 Karat Get Gorgeous Style Pro, Style Pro Shampoo and Style Pro Conditioner. I don't like this whatsoever. I put this in my hair, the shampoo, it smells a little bit like rotten fruit. So like if you've ever been to like a farmer's market and they have some apples that are like kind of old, that's what this smells like. No good to me. The conditioner smells like alcohol, like rubbing alcohol. So I'm like, what are they trying to make here? I don't know. I didn't enjoy it whatsoever. I actually ended up rewashing my hair again afterwards because the smell actually kind of lingered in my hair a little bit and I was like, no, that's not a cool thing. The next thing is the Living Proof Style Prime Style Extender. So this is okay. I don't see anything extraordinary about it, but it's okay. I think it helps to style your hair. I know like for me, if I want to go with the beach waves, this helps to help me keep my, like the beach waves because I do have like naturally curly hair. So I like to, it's not like naturally curly. It's like naturally wavy. There you go. So I like to use this if I'm going to do like a naturally wavy day. So it does help with that. But as far as like curling it and things like that, I don't really know that it helps that much. So it's okay. The next product is the Clinique oil-free gel for oilier skin. I didn't use this obviously because I don't have oily skin. So I was like, I'm not sure how it would work for me. I didn't even try it because I was like, look, I don't need anything that's going to dry me out. So honestly, I didn't try it, but I did try the other Clinique products. I have the Clinique for dry and combination skins, little uh, lotion here. This is really, really nice. My friend here on YouTube, Lady Cookie Luck, I know she uses this a lot and she really enjoys it and I can see why she likes it because it's really really nice on your skin on your skin especially if you have dry skin I'm not sure what her skin type is but I know mine it worked really well for mine the next thing is something funny this is the Jergens natural glow three days to glow little set here so as you see there's two packs here still open I mean not opened you can't really tell it now anymore you might be able to see it a little bit I'm not sure if you can see I do not know how to self-tan, so let's just start there. I can't self-tan worth nothing. I can't figure it out. I can't figure out how you put it on. I had terrible demarcation, like marks all over my arm. I'll insert a picture and show you how bad it actually was. It was it was horrendous. I'm like, okay, so I need to stay away from self-tanner, so I'm actually just going to pass this one to someone who actually knows how to self-tan instead of wasting the product because it didn't work for me. So that's just me. Now, as for what the way it smells, it smells it smells good. It doesn't smell terrible. It doesn't smell like a typical soft tanner, I don't think. And then, of course, it definitely tans because I'm a, I'm definitely a different color now, but it's not quite the look I was going for. It looks a little yellow to me, but I don't know. I think everybody's skin tone is going to change differently with this, depending upon what your skin tone is already. I think since I'm already kind of yellow, I think that's why it made me look more yellow. So I don't know. I probably will never purchase that just because I suck at soft tanning. The next product is the Josie Miranda Whipped Argan Oil. It's an ultra hydrating body butter. This feels really, really nice on the skin, but I will tell you if you don't have dry skin, you're probably not going to like this because it leaves behind like an oily texture in your skin because it is like an argan oil in it. You can definitely feel the argan oil and you can see it on your skin. And it also has little, I've noticed little tiny pieces of shimmer into this. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I did notice it had a little bit of sparkle to it. So for me, I felt like it was nice, but it did leave behind like an oily residue. So if you don't mind that then it's going to be good but if you do mind that then no it smells kind of like a like a mango like a nectarine type of fruit it smells very very good like what what is the fruit I'm trying to think of what it smells like I can't think but it's like a really sweet fruit it smells like fruit it smells very very nice I did like the way this smells the next product is the Clinique uh what is this this is the super primer so it color corrects redness and it's a yellow primer when you put it on this is actually pretty good. I did notice it changed the redness on my skin. If I used this, my redness looked a lot less. Really did like this. I would definitely consider purchasing a full size of this because I think some of the Clinique products are really, really nice. I feel like the Clinique's a little bit underrated now. I feel like it's more of a product that people used to use and they're not really using it much anymore because there's so many other brands that have kind of flooded the market. Really did like this though. The next product is the... What is this? Oh, this is the Girl On. The Girl On Meteorite little base. I have just a little bit left in here still. So what I'm going to do is actually do a demo using this. So I can show you guys how it works for me and my dry skin. I did enjoy this. I think it's very, very nice. When you pump it up, it does have a little bit of um, the, like a sparkle. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> it does have a little bit of pearly sparkle. Not really sparkle, but like a little bit of a shimmer to it. Looks really good on the skin. I can see now why Cassie from Thrift Thick, Thrift Thick loves this. So I definitely would consider purchasing a full size. 
The next thing is the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Moisture Balm. Now this is really nice. I feel like it was very moisturizing. But I don't feel like it did anything extra that some of my other typical moisturizers do. Like my favorite moisturizer is the B Belief Moisture Balm. I love that one. I don't like the Aqua Balm. I like the Moisture Balm. That one's the best for dry skin. It works really, really good for me. This works similar to that, but I mean, it's got a heftier price tag. So I'm going to stick to my Belief. The next thing is the Bobbi Brown. This is the Instant Detox. I'll, post, I'll put a picture in here of me using this mask. It turn it is like a black mask when you put it on because I guess it's like charcoal or something in it. I felt like it worked good for my skin, but I do have a new little friend here growing on my head, so I don't know if this caused it or what, but I do have a new friend growing there, and I know that this is supposed to kind of like extract things, so that may be why the, the issue came to, to the surface. But it was a good mask. I thought it was a good mask. It felt nice on the skin. I don't feel like it was drying to my skin, which is very concerning for me when I use one of those kinds of clay masks. I feel like they can dry my skin out really bad, and that one didn't. So then we have the perfume samples. Where's the other one? Uh-oh. We only have one perfume sample here, guys. Here's the other. No, that's not it. Well, I've lost one of our perfume samples. We have the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. I, I think this is an okay scent. It's not something that I probably will purchase because I feel like it's a little too strong for me. But it's good. I mean, when I put it on, it just has some sort of note into it that I just don't like. It's it's There's a note to it that's just not working for me. So that's why there's still a lot left in the bottle. The other one I actually did like, but I don't know what I did with it. So where's it at? Uh, here it is. This is the Juliet Has a Gun. Now this one smells a lot better. This one smells a little more... I don't know, it reminds me of the um, Nirvana, the white and black one. Reminds me of those when you mix them together. This is what that reminds me of. It smells really, really good. So I do like this one a lot. I like the Juliet Has a Gun, which is the mmm one. <laughs> so that one's really nice. So now let's go ahead and pull our new samples for the week. We have our little sample cup here of perfumes. So I'm going to pull two of these. So the first one I have is Versace Euros Parfume. So there's our first one. Then we have something big here. We have something by Philosophy. We have Philosophy Amazing Grace, which is a scent that I'm pretty sure I love, so that'll be fun to use this week. Now let's go ahead and pull our body care samples. We're gonna pull two body care. So the first one is here. So we have a Amande. This is a Loctane Concentrate De Lot, a milk concentrate. I'm not sure I've ever tried that before, so if you guys have ever tried that before, let me know what you think of it. Then we have, oh, we have two samples here. Now we have something by Victor and Roth. We have a Victor and Roth Flower Balm. This is a precious oil. I'm not sure if this is for your skin or what this is supposed to be for, so hopefully it'll work on my skin. I think it's for your skin. Um, it's a perfume ritual. Apply a few drops on the pulse point, so it's a perfume oil. So it's still for your body, but it's a perfume oil. So I'll set that there and we'll go ahead and pull our skincare samples in here. So the first skincare sample is something by Wish. It's the Wish Natural High Performance Effective Naturals. What is this? Uh, reduces the appearance of puffiness and fine lines. It's a repairing, oh no, there it is. Sure. I'm repairing eye serum. Don't want it to get dropped down in there because it's like, it's like a lot of stuff in there. You can lose it real quick. Now we have, oh, that's really heavy. We have something about Skin Ink. This is the Pure Revival Peel. So we have a Skin Ink Peel to use for my face. So that'd be cool to try out. Now we have our other two baskets on the side here. So this is our hair care samples. So I'm gonna pull two samples from here. Oh, we got some big samples in here, guys. Oh, <laughs> we have a Batiste Dry Shampoo and this is the original scent. And then we have we have the Sake Balm. This is a dry bar shampoo and conditioner little sample to test out. So I'm excited to try that because this is supposed to be for, I wonder if it's all good for color treated hair. Safe for color treated hair. So that's good because if it's not, then I don't want to use it because I just had my hair done. Even though it doesn't look like it today. Today we're just kind of lounging around the house and I kind of threw in a little bit of makeup and I was like, I better film my sample Sundays. So let's go ahead and do the makeup now. This is the last basket. So the first makeup item is another sample from my uh, So Schwa box. This is the YSL Forever Light Creator CC Cream, and it's the shade Lavender. So here's a Lavender CC Cream, so I'm excited to try that out. And then our last sample is, oh, I had it and then I dropped it. Let's grab another one. Here we go. 
We have a super group, super goop CC Daily Correct Broad Spectrum SPF 35 light to medium self adjusting shade. Little, I think this is like just a uh, it's a BB cream. No, it's a CC cream. Wait, I'm confused. It's a self adjusting PA. I'm not sure what the heck that is. So, let me get this close up so you can see. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about it if you know anything about it. Um, it has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in it. So it has two different types of sun sunscreen in it. So it says uh, on the back here it's got 20% of zinc oxide and titanium oxide is 2%. And this is an SPF 35 so that'll be good to try out. So anyway, those are the samples that I'm going to be using this week. I'd love to know if you're doing the sample Sunday along with me. And if you've used some, some samples that you really did enjoy and some samples that maybe you didn't enjoy. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.